Hey guys, it is Tuesday live session at 3 every Tuesday and this week we are talking about your influence sphere and how you influence the people around you and how you can use that for good or for bad and how we should make a conscious decision about what we do and how we influence the people around us. Awesome, so we're going to talk about that a bit today. Um, Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Uh, but first, I've got some news. I'm going to be on the Groot Ontbijt this Thursday. It's 6.30 in the morning on Kijknet and I'm going to be on the Groot Ontbijt. Hey Michael, thanks for joining in. So tune in on the radio Groot FM or on Kijknet uh, for the Groot Ontbijt. Michael van Alinda, thanks for joining in. So guys, today we're talking about your influence sphere and how you influence the people around you and what that means and how we should be conscious about what we do and say to the people around us. Um, so yeah, Shalandri, Michael Stolz, Michael van der Linde, what's up? Tell me what's happening in your business, how's things going? If you want a photographer, check out Michael Stolz. He is great at what he does. Um, if you want someone to handle your media and branding in Secunda, check out Shalandri. Um, they have great businesses. Vainant, thank you for joining in. So, um, your influence sphere. Now guys, if I, I watched a talk this morning from Mani Buerta um, and the Hey Lead course, uh, I was part of a Future, um, we're part of Future Leaders program and we go out to schools and talk about leadership and finance. And this morning we were at a school and Marnie Buerta talked about leadership in, with the Hey Lead course. And he talked about um, your influence sphere. And he used the example of, guys, let's say I have a toaster. Okay, I have a toaster, I'm going to put bread in my toaster and it doesn't heat up my bread. Okay, it's broken. Okay, what can I do? I can take it apart, I can screw it loose and open it up to see what's happening inside there. Then I can go to the shops, maybe get the little component that broke and I can put it back in the toaster and um, I, can, I can put everything together again and I can switch it on and yes, the toaster works. Okay, and the toaster works again. Now let's say I have my cat and my cat paw is sore. So what do I do? I take the paw, I screw it off, I go to the shop, to the pet shop, I buy a new paw, the right color, the right size, everything, and I come back home and I screw the paw back on. Right? No, you can't do that. Um, you can't do that. If you do that, I'm sure animal control or <laughs> someone will sort you out. So you can't do that. And that is the difference between systems, like the toaster, that you can fix, or people, and, you know, um, humans, and people you interact with, that's biological, that you can't just replace a component of. And we need to be cautious about the people around us, and what we break or fix in their lives. It's so important because if you break a paw of a cat, you can't just replace it with a new one, okay? It needs to heal over time. So we need to be cautious about how we influence the people around us and what we do to either build them up to great heights or to break them down. So we're going to talk a bit about that today and go into detail about that. Um, Shalandri, Michael, Stolz, Michael van der Linde, Weinand, uh, Tizet, sorry, Tisetsu, and Simon. Thanks for joining in. Um, it's great to have you on the Tuesday live feed at 3. Uh, what is your business about? What is your questions? Send them through and we will talk about them live. Do you have any entrepreneurial questions? your business questions, your side hustle questions, send them through or just share and then we can talk about them live. How's the value been so far? How's the content been so far? If you like what we're talking about today, just send the shop 
uh, then I know I'm on the right track. Okay, so how do you influence the people around us? And the first thing to understand is that you are an influencer, okay? Um, in, in my case, we have the whole Millionaire 22 thing. We're trying to influence the kids to think differently about mindset when we go to schools. We want to influence the people and the businessmen and the entrepreneurs when we go and speak at events. We want to influence uh, all ages of people in their mindset and thinking when we sell the book and when people read the book. But that's on a bigger scale. You need to realize that in your life, everything you do you are influencing other people okay every step you take let's say you're at a busy intersection and you just decide to walk right over the road what's gonna happen a lot of cars are going to have to stop and people are gonna be influenced by your decision to walk over the road people are gonna have to you know change their direction or be late for their appointments or you know there's gonna be some changes because of your decision to just walk over the road and that's important to notice just think about your household situation how would your home your house look if you are not there okay how would that look you have an influence by just being there people are acting differently people are acting another way and people are doing things that they wouldn't have done if you were not there so it's important to notice that you have an influence everywhere you go and everything you do and it starts with making those small changes where you are at the moment to influence the people around you there's people always looking at what you're doing. This can be in life. This can be in your business, in your workspace, in your family, on Instagram, on Facebook. What is people seeing you doing? What is people hearing you saying? And what influence are you making um, in the world around you? Okay, so that's a bit about uh, what Marnie Boerta said this morning for the A-Lead course with the future leaders and what I took from it. And it's so important to see how we can positively influence other people around us. Because if we can make one small change, that can be extrapolated. Because that one person can make small changes in someone else's lives. And they can make changes in someone else's lives. So I want to encourage you guys for this week, focus on how you influence people and what influence you have on your family, your friends, your work colleagues, your people in your school, everywhere you go. And focus on that to make sure that it's a positive influence. Vainant is asking, do you have any tips for teens or youths of, on making the right career choices? Vainant, that's a very difficult one. Um, there are people that can help you with like tests that test your ability in certain areas to determine kind of what's your strong points and what's your strengths. But in my case, I went to these uh, people that test you and I did the tests and they said, Albert, don't become a doctor. Don't become an engineer. You won't be good at it. There was like 30 career choices that I should take and doctor was the lowest one and engineer was second from the bottom. And um, the, the, then there was a lot others at the top. I think that the one they said I should do the most is I should work with people and I should, oh, I should do arts. So I, I was going to do script writing and directing in the film industry. But then I decided, listen, I'm gonna do engineering. So I went to another, another counselor that also did this whole test thing and she also told me, Albert, stay away from engineering. So what did I do the next year? I enrolled for engineering at the University of Pretoria and I completed my degree in four years. Um, I was one of 18 people in 130 people that actually completed industrial engineering in four years in my year that started with me and finished with me. And that just showed me that you don't have to be, those, those tests doesn't have to show you look, you're good at engineering, or you're good at this, or you're good at that. You can decide what you want to study. And you just have to put your mind to it. And you can decide what your career is going to look like. And you just have to put your mind to it and work really hard. 
And when, when I got to dynamics and thermodynamics and, you know, mechanics, I could see why the people in the test told me, oh, well, don't do engineering. Because those things were difficult and it wasn't obvious for me. Like my friends that, that was good at, naturally good at engineering, was like, oh, but, but it's going to turn this way. And this is going to be the Newtons on it. And it's, it's obvious. And I was like, no, it's not obvious. So I had to really study really, really hard and um, focus on exactly what I have to do and I made rules for myself um, so yeah Vainant a long story short I think you can study or take a career path that you want to take and you can just put your head on it work really hard and you will succeed okay and you need to decide what you want to do my motivation for becoming an uh, engineer at that stage was I knew engineers got good salaries uh, they got good income so that was one of my motivations because I wanted to start my property investments and things um, the other motivation was that um, I knew engineers was valued at a high, a high standard when you tell someone hey I'm an engineer or even a doctor or a lawyer then people's like oh okay so I wanted a platform from where I can influence other people better so that's my reasons why I wanted to be an engineer and engineers change things they build the future that's how I, I viewed it uh, at that stage and that is why I wanted to go in that direction obviously I studied the degree I worked for a year and then I changed completely and now I'm an entrepreneur and uh, you know going out and changing the world in that sense and now my beliefs are a bit different and I think that entrepreneurs are the people that's changing the future changing the world and making a difference so my, my main story would basically be go for what you think is good go for what you think is great don't let other people tell you you cannot do it just go for it work really hard make a success of it and see where life takes you at, at the end you might like me make a whole career change go in a whole different direction but you would always be able to use those tools that you've learned when i do business consulting i use all of my industrial engineering tools again to help businesses so it always works out right if you just work hard and focus on your future okay so vainant is saying the problem with those tests are they don't tell you what your passion is that is true, Vainant. You need to focus on your passion. You need to find your passion. And if you don't know what your passion is, this is a massive question that I get a lot. If you don't know what your passion is, think about what excites you. First, what excites you? What makes you excited? If you're thinking about it, you're like, hey, F1 cars. Ah, I want to race. I want to do that. That, that makes you excited. Uh, building a business that makes me excited going for it you know speaking to people sharing knowledge so what makes you excited think about that that's the first one the second one is um, what would you rather do so if you're doing something and I ask you Vainant what would you rather do if there's something else you would rather do then most probably that is more your passion than what you're currently doing okay so that's a few questions you can ask yourself about your passion building an empire great Vainant awesome so guys a, a cool live session today we have Silandri Michael Stolz Michael van der Linde Vainant Titsetsu Simon um, Viandri and SL how's things going guys tell me what's up with your business um, send me some questions throughout the week on your business or your side hustle um, and your entrepreneurial journey and we will answer them live on a Tuesday at 3 so guys focus on your influence that you have with the people around you make sure you have a good influence and first of all understand and realize that you do have an influence with your friends family people around you, business colleagues um, even though you don't know it and then guys if you want to know what career path to take um, you can watch it from the start again if you just joined in uh, you can just watch the whole live session from the start we talked about your influence your career paths and a bit about your passion cool guys just a, on a quick note remember to tune in Thursday op die groot ontbijt 
Um, half past six, I'm going to be live on CakeNet and the Groot FM radio. Cool guys, have a great Tuesday and see you next week Tuesday at three.